All right, so let's move on to the next example. So the following chart shows six normal curves with all different standard deviations. And they have the same X and Y scale. So they're on the same scale, they're all drawn the same. So which one's which? One of them is 0 0.5, 0 0.75, one is one, one is 1.25, one is two, and one is three. So remember that the standard deviation measures the deviation from the mean. And the mean in these cases is very obviously the center. So obviously that's the mean at zero. So the question is, which one has the largest standard deviation, which one has the smallest? Well, the smallest standard deviation is this one in the top left corner because it's the most packed in. So remember, distance from the mean, this curve has almost no distance from the mean. And vice versa, the one with the largest standard deviation has got to be the one right below it because the data set is the most spread out there. So everything is super far from the mean here, more far from the mean than it is in any of the other pictures. And from there, we can try to figure out the rest of them. So if this one appears the least, so that would be 0.5, and this one down here is the most, that's 3. So then we need to figure out the rest of these. So this one's the second most, so that would be the, um, let's see, 2. That would be 2. And then the one that's the second most packed in is 0.75. That's when this one over here, 0 0.75. That leaves us the 1 and the 1.25. So you'll notice that this one here is a little bit more tightly packed than this one. It's a little bit higher at the peak, a little bit more tightly centered. This one's a little bit more spread out. So therefore, this one has to be the 1, and this one has to be the 1.25. So poof, there are all the numbers. I got them all fit in there. So then what, is this, what do these graphs show us that standard deviation measures? And we said it before, but we're going to say it again. Standard deviation measures the spread of your data set. The more spread out your data are, the larger your standard deviation variance, right? And I say both of them because, quite frankly, they both measure the same thing. They both measure how spread it out. It's just that variance squares it because that's more convenient later on, okay? So if you see your data way spread out, that's going to be a bigger standard deviation. If you see your data really packed in, really tight, condensed in, that's going to be a very small standard deviation, which is what I said down here. If you're comparing two or more populations, the one with a larger standard deviation is going to be the one that's much more spread out, more dispersed, more variation. Um, I should say variation. Okay. If you are comparing two more populations, the one with a smaller data set, a smaller standard deviation, excuse me, is the one with less spread. It's more condensed, it's more packed in. Okay? So again, think of these two pictures, the top left and the bottom left, right? Bottom left is very spread out, big standard deviation. Top left is very tiny, very packed in, so very small standard deviation. And the variance would go with that. This one would have a variance of 9, because 3 squared is 9. And this one would have a variance of 0.25, very, very small.